Hello, everybody, and welcome to the WWE 13 Universe Mode of WWE, WWE WWF Monday Night War. And right now, I'm gonna give you the results from Heat. Triple H taking on Booker T. Triple H wins. Jey Uso and Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre with the win. Mark Henry and Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash with the win. Damian Sandow and Tensai. Tensai with the loss and Damian Sandow wins. Mankind taking on Sheamus. And Sheamus with the victory. And right now to SmackDown. Jimmy Jay Uso. Tensai and Drew McIntyre in a triple threat match. Tensai with the win. Natalia taking on Karma. Natalia with the win. Yoshi Tatsu and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns with the win. A number one contender steel cage match between Sandy Santino Morella and David Otunga. Santino is the number one contender. I'm assuming that's the Intercontinental Championship. Yep. Uh, tag team match. Chris Jericho and Jimmy Uso taking on Mark Henry and Damian Sandow. Chris Jericho and Jimmy Uso with the victory. And that wraps up SmackDown. And let's check out WWF War here. So in our first matchup tonight, we have Rey Mysterio taking on Kevin Nash. Sheamus, Brock Lesnar, and Randy Orton in a triple threat. Another triple threat match. Mark Henry, Kane, and Booker T. A number one contenders triple threat match. Mankind, Dolph Ziggler, and Triple H. Hmm. And our main event. What? This makes no sense. Edge versus The Rock with Shawn Michaels. Um, the Rock is the number two contender. Okay. Makes sense. But why is Shawn Michaels at ringside? Okay. Uh, good to me. Save it. Savings will not be safe. Alright, that's interesting. Whatever. Uh, this just edge in the rock one on one. So we're lacking a Divas match in here. But we kinda need our intercontinental championships. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna edit that. So we got the both the heel divas tag up together. So that's basically it guys, we will um, now get started for this here on Kevin Nash. So our first matchup of the night is Kevin Nash taking on Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has always been called the underdog. And uh, he made his debut I believe last week. And uh, see if he can take on the large seven footers and Kevin Nash. And now here comes the much larger Kevin Nash NWO WCW legend. Once known as Diesel, he made his uh, return to the WWE in the Royal Rumble as Diesel. Then he came back and attacked Triple H during the uh, summer of, I believe, 2011. And he had a match with Triple H. And Mysterio off the second rope and does a kind of a crazy move that ends up 
making Nash hit his head. That big, uh, I guess that is DDT, some type of DDT. And now Nash taking the offensive, but a bunch of kicks and punches, large fists. It's make, it doesn't even fit on Mysterio. It looks like he's missing him because Mysterio is so short compared to him. He's got him grappled. Oh, and a huge blow from Nash. But Mysterio is still moving. Nash setting up for it. Oh, it is. Jackknife time. And a jackknife powerbomb from Kevin Nash. Can he put Mysterio away here? No, Mysterio with a big kick up. Which I didn't know he did. I thought that was Shawn Michaels thing. Shawn Michaels we haven't seen much of. He hasn't been in the match card of late. Um, I don't make up the match card. I edit it. But there are some changes to come that will be announced at the next pay-per-view. Money in the Bank. That's our first pay-per-view, actually. It'll be on uh, two weeks from today. Well, well two weeks, meaning uh, Sunday. Uh, two weeks from now. Not this Sunday, but next. Um, there will be more information on that later on in the night. Oh, and Mysterio with a big counter. And Nash rolls out of the ring. Nash, he's got him in a tight hold, but he's outside of the ring. If he taps, it won't matter. Mysterio would have to tap here. He taps, he taps. But Nash... Let's him go. It doesn't matter. He has to get him inside the ring in order to get a submission victory. Mysterio is hurt. Oh, that big knee to the head. And he picks him up. Oh, and another punch. That's got to be it. No, Nash picks him up again. And another jackknife power bomb from Nash. Here's the pin. And he gets the three. And Nash picks up another victory. This has got to put him in deep into the Intercontinental Championship hunt. But will he go for an Intercontinental Championship or will he keep on going and go for the WWF Championship? It's unknown at this point. But Nash is celebrating like a little kid over this little victory over Rey Mysterio. But Nash is a happy man right now. Oh, no. Well, he's going after the fans here. Never exactly been a fan favorite. Well, it looks like we've had a little bit of a change in plans. AJ Lee is here. Now here comes her tag partner, Kelly Kelly. Now her opponent tonight is Stephanie McMahon and Trish Stratus. Trish hit her with a chair last time. Kelly and Trish are having a bit of a rivalry. They will take on each other for the Divas Championship, or the Women's Championship, I should say, at Money in the Bank. And now Stephanie going after AJ, who starts up the match. And a submission hold here. AJ, can she break out? Yes, she does. Oh, and a big Luthez press from Stephanie McMahon, Miss Boss. The big boss lady. And now AJ leaving the ring. Throws her into that steel barricade. And a big headbutt from AJ. Tossing her back in the ring. The ref counting. And now AJ with a Hurricane Rana. AJ throws her into the corner. Tags in Kelly. Kelly going up top. 
Kelly. Kelly! Off the top rope into into Stephanie. Goes for the pin. No. Not even a one count on that. And another Luthez press from Stephanie McMahon. She's going over to make the tag to the women's champion. But now Kelly doesn't let her get into the ring. She slams. Well, not slams, but she punches her out of the ring. And she falls off the apron. Now Trish coming up on the apron. And Kelly throws her in. Kelly and Trish have been going at it for two weeks now after Kelly was attacked brutally by Trish. And a big kick just keeps on going after her. Oh, and that's a nasty leg right into the face of Trish. All in a DDT on the Bulldog. Oh, and a crossbody. And another crossbody. She's got a signature ready. Oh, doing some really good move. Must make Trish dizzy. Oh, will she go for it? Yes, she gets it. She gets the leg drop or whatever that thing is called. I guess it's a leg drop. But she only gets a one count off of it. Oh, and another suit. Ugh, I don't know the names of all these moves. It's sad. I am a wrestling fan, and I do not know the names of a lot of the moves. But Kelly jumping around. And Trish with a big counter. Trish, one of the best divas to ever live in the history of the World Wrestling Federation. Or on Friday's entertainment. <laughs> For SmackDown. Now Kelly tags in AJ. Who goes after McMahon. And a takedown. Stephanie's got AJ again. AJ says no no no. And she gives her a big kick to the skull. Yes. 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 Yeah the corner. Oh, catches her with her legs. And tosses her over to the other side of the ring. Yes, yes, yes. And big kick to the face. P picks her up and Stephanie with a counter. AJ Groggy sends her down to the mat. But AJ rolls out of the ring. Oh, and the women's champion is coming in. AJ, first chance at Trish. Sends her over to the top rope. Comes off the ropes. Sends her into that barricade. Comes off the apron but misses badly. AJ, big kick. She may just get a count out victory here, but that'd be any good anyway. I think AJ is going for a tag there, but Kelly went down. And Trish is up and in. But she's hurt. And now AJ. Big kicks. That was like a knee. And she goes for the pin. One, two, three. Some of the incredible highlights. And Kelly, Kelly, and AJ take the victory. Although this match was kind of changed. It's Kelly and AJ that have won this match. But it wasn't originally scheduled to be AJ, but AJ now owns a victory over Trish Stratus, and Kelly Kelly has some sweet revenge going into her match at Money in the Bank. So our next match is a tag match now. Once again, we have another change in the matchup card. I don't not know why the matchup card's changing like this, but it's Sheamus and Booker T taking on the team of Mark Henry and Kane. Well, Mark Henry and Kane, I mean, we only have one tag team that's a stable right now here in our uh, universe mode. So maybe one of these teams will uh, emerge and become a full-out tag team. 
The following contest is a tag team match and is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 256 pounds, Booker T. And his tag team partner from Dublin, Ireland. He is the World Heavyweight Champion and the Great White Sheamus. And their opponent, first, from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 412 pounds, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And his tag team partner, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And here we go. Mark Henry and Kane taking on Booker T and the World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus. Booker T had Mark Henry, but Mark Henry counters. Henry just like gives him a shoulder tackle and I toss him over the top rope and spears him into that barricade Henry oh and he throws him into the barricade now Booker T with a big counter it just lifted the world's strongest man over his back and he does it again Seamus just standing out there Making sure that no one else. Oh wait, no, he's getting involved. Oh, and a big slam to the world's strongest man, Booker T and Sheamus are just hand. Well, they were just handling. But Henry with a big counter is Sheamus, and now beating up on Sheamus. Oh, and here comes over Kane. Kane just throws Sheamus into the turnbuckle. Or well, in that ring post, I should say. And uh, inside the ring, Booker T just slammed Henry right on his leg. And he throws him over his head again. Booker T must have been doing some serious weight training. And now Henry with a big right and left. But Mark Hen but uh, Booker T counters. And now he's got Mark Henry in a submission hold here. Can King Booker do it? No. Henry will not tap. And he just does another shoulder tackle. And now it looks like he's going to throw him to that corner. And he's got him in a bear hug. Will Booker T tap? No. And he gives him a DDT to the head. And I guess that's the only place you got a DDT to. Now he's at the ring again. Henry. Oh, that's the third time in this match. And there he goes over his head again. Counters out of the way. Went for the shoulder tackle, but no, he throws him over the head again. Now it looks like Henry's back on the offensive, but now Kane just tossing Henry into, I mean, tossing Booker T into something. He got hit. Now he's off the other way. There's a seven count. Can Booker T make it back in the ring? Now I can get stopping, but it couldn't. Kind of looks like Mark Henry just knocked his own tag team partner off the apron. Henry. Throwing Booker into the ropes. No, no one can come out offensively there. Now Henry. Big rights and lefts. Henry counters at a big headbutt, knocking Booker T down to the ground. 
And now knocking Booker T down to the ground again. Another time. Taking his legs out from behind him and just slamming into the mat. Now up against the ropes. Henry it just seems like he's dominating this match. Now he's throwing him into the turnbuckles. Oh, he just slams in the mat again. Henry and Kane could be a really unstoppable force if they were to team up. They're both huge. Henry's got strength. Kane is tall and strong. Kane is a uh, big friend monster. Oh, uh oh. Oh, and he slams him again. And a big kick to Seamus. He's setting up for the, for the choke slam. Can he get it? Well, Henry coming out of the ring. Knocks Seamus into that barricade. And now Kane going for the cover. Henry's in the ring. He won't count. Will he do it? One, two, three. Kane and Mark Henry pick up the win over Booker T and the World Heavyweight Champion Seamus. I think Kane and Mark Henry have a decent shot at the ECW World Tag Team Champions, Mark Henry and Jeff Hardy. We'll have to see what other tag teams they face, or will they stay as a tag team? We'll see next week. Now on to our triple threat match between Triple H, Mankind, and Dolph Ziggler. The following contest is a number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship and a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from the boiler room, weighing in at 287 pounds, Mankind! And his opponent. Representing D Generation X. From Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds. The game. Triple H. And their opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 213 pounds, the show off, Dolph Ziggler. And now, the beginning of the match Ziggler and Mankind going at it. Matt Triple H has Dolph Ziggler. He's got him in that. Oh! Mankind teaming up with Triple H. They have Ziggler and they slap him on his stomach. Triple H picking up Ziggler. And Mankind just watching on. He's leaving the ring here. This is a no disqualification match. It is triple threat. No count outs, no disqualifications. Oh, and a big steel chair shot to the head. Mankind misses on Triple H. Triple H picks him up and slips his knee. Oh! And a neck, a twist of the neck. Uh, now Mankind and Ziggler trying to get out of it. Trying to get a grapple on each other. Mankind lets him go and he hits him with an elbow.
and hits Triple H with an elbow. Oh, and Triple H throws him out of the ring. Man, kind of one tough guy. ECW guy, well, Cactus Jack, one of Mick Foley's, uh, Mrs. Foley's little baby boys. Uh, but Mick Foley is one of the toughest men on the planet. Oh, and he just gave, gave a bulldog to Joel Ziggler on the entrance ramp. But he just tosses him into, like, an invisible wall there. Once again, video games, not always reliable. But Matt Kai did Triple H, and Matt Kai hits him with an elbow. This is a number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Championship, I'd like to remind everybody. So whoever can win this match is the number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion and will face Brock Lesnar at Money in the Bank for the Intercontinental Championship. So, Mankind, Ziggler, and Triple H all have equal rights to that title right now. It's whoever can win this match who will become the number one contender. Money in the Bank shaping up to be a good pay-per-view. We got our tight, our WWF Championship match already scheduled. It'll be Edge taking on Shawn Michaels in a ladder match. Yes, a ladder match, everybody. I guess it is Money in the Bank. Mankind throwing Triple H into the ring. But now Ziggler and Mankind going at it. We have our, team, our women's championship match between Trish Stratus and Kelly Kelly. Now the likelihood is AJ Lee will be accompanying Kelly Kelly to the ring. And if that's so, then probably uh, Big Boss Lady uh, Stephanie McMahon will be accompanying Trish to the ring. Our Intercontinental Championship match will be either Dolph Ziggler, Mankind, or Triple H taking on the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And then, of course, we have our Money in the Bank ladder match, which we will not find out who is in until the night of Money in the Bank. Now, Money in the Bank will be shown in full. No highlights of matches. You will hear me rambling on for probably around an hour to an hour and a half on uh, Money in the Bank. And at Money in the Bank, there will be a huge announcement for the future of WWF Monday Night War. As Mankind with a bulldog. And as Ziggler tossing Mankind back into the ring. And hits him on that stiff clothesline right on the apron. That is extremely painful because it is steel around that ring. It is not padded in that one area. Now Mankind watching that chair in the turnbuckle pad. And he's bringing Triple H back in. Oh, and Ziggler with a scoop slam. And he's leaving the ring now. He's dismantling the announce table. Now Triple H slams him onto his knee. That has to hurt the back of mankind. Now Triple H can't seem to focus on where he's going with this. And he slams himself down to the mat with that neck breaker. Now going to the headlock to Ziggler. Mankind. Oh, and a DX chop from Triple H. Mankind throws him out of the ring. Now Mankind. Double under hook DDT. And now throws Triple H into the steel chair. Here's the pin. One. Only one. Ziggler is tough. Mankind looks like he's hobbling a bit. But he DDTs Triple H anyway. Now he's leaving the ring here. What's he gonna get? He's got a steel chair. Mankind is dangerous with steel chairs. <coughs> and Mankind with a bulldog to Triple H. 
Triple H laying on that steel chair. Mankind picks it up. Looks like he's going to hit something, but I think he needs to get his eyes checked because he's not hitting the right stuff. Now Ziggler's got the chair and he slams no one. I guess he needs to get his eyes checked too. And Mankind off the announce table with an elbow. An elbow for Mankind. Now Triple H with a punch. Mankind sending him into the barricade. And a DDT to Ziggler. He's got a signature move coming. Oh, and he's got him in that barricade situation. That's never good. And he gives him a headbutt in the barricade. So I'd like to apologize for not making so many videos lately. I've been very busy. But I tried to get war up on Monday, but I had to get it up on Tuesday instead because uh, I just didn't have time. But believe me, I have not stopped making content. I've been working on some project that I can't really explain right now. But let's just say after um, the real money in the bank, not our money in the bank, uh, I will give you more information on that. Uh, but it's for a contest, and I don't want to give it away. As Mankind spears Triple H through that barricade. He didn't spear him through, he spear him onto it. He knocked down the barricade. Tri <coughs> <coughs> uh, Triple H is pretty hurt there. And Mankind's got Ziggler again. Where is he bringing him to? And Mankind. Oh, and a neck breaker. And Triple H is, of course, wobbling after getting hit in that barricade. And now Mankind So it's something with Triple H is like, Oh, I don't think the leg's supposed to twist like that so many times. And Triple H obviously is in a lot of pain. But this is for the number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship. As Ziggler throws well, Mankind in the table. Now he picks him up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ziggler. Throw the table of the DDT. And watch the replay here. That's got to hurt Mankind's chances. And Ziggler looks like he's a little injured too. Everybody's holding their heads. Mankind counters and scoop slams Ziggler. And he gives Bulldogs to Triple H. Mankind will not back down. He wants that number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship off the ropes and now he looks to Triple H again but he got out of the way and he gets hit with a steel chair and now he got the chair again he got right up oh and he slams Mankind's head and Ziggler grabs him and throws him over his shoulders now Ziggler picking up Mankind and Ziggler goes for a roll up and Mankind able to kick out now Mankind and Ziggler have Signature moves here. And Mankind hits him with a bulldog. He said he smartly runs out of the ring. Now he's coming back in. And Mankind just swinging that steel chair all over the place. He's gonna hit somebody with that. He's not there. Oh, he breaks up a pin with it, too. And he hits Triple H square on in the head with it. Oh no! Punch to the face. Oh, he's got Sako out. This is Sako in the mouth of Triple H. Man of claw is locked in there. Oh, Ziggler's got it rolled up. One, two, three. It's the match. Ziggler just stole one from Mankind. Ziggler just is the Intercontinental Champion's number one contender. He just stole one from Mankind. That was pretty good for Ziggler. He is now the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And will face Brock Lesnar at Money in the Bank for the Intercontinental Championship. And now it is main event time here. Taking on The Rock is the rated R Superstar Edge. Will the number one contender be able to be the number two contender? Edge is already qualified for the world for the World Wrestling Federation Championship spot. He's at Money in the Bank.
The following contest is a hardcore match. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the Raider Superstar Edge! And the opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Rock! And now Edge going after Rocky right off the bell. And Rocky the big counter throwing Edge over his shoulder. Oh, and a big back, well, back slam. Countered into the backdrop. Backdrop, that's what he's called. The Rock taking full control of this match from the very onset. And another backdrop. Edge, the number one contender for the world. Wrestling Federation Championship and he will get his shot at money in the bank The Rock on the other hand is the number two contender So the likelihood is he will face either Shawn Michaels or uh, Edge at the next pay-per-view which is King of Extreme King of Extreme will feature an extreme King of the Ring contest between eight superstars and uh, they will all be in like hardcore extreme rules TLC matches and whoever can be the King of Extreme will win a number one contendership to the World Wrestling Federation Championship. As Edge slams Rocky into his head, up uh, his head into that announce table, Rock countered into another backdrop. Well, listen to our WWF you know, fans. I don't think it called the universe at this point. I don't like that term. I think it's stupid. Edge and the Rock going at it. I don't know if they ever had a, a rivalry in real life. I don't think they did. Edge came in the Attitude Era, but he was a much lower superstar than uh, Rock was at that point. I'm sure if uh, Edge was still wrestling today, they'd probably face off at some point. Because Rock is sort of wrestling. He's a part-timer. Uh, instead, he has to wrestle John Cena twice a year. Well. He has wrestled twice a year this year. How is that, like, even good enough for the cover of 2014? I don't not know. It makes no sense. But who else are they going to put on it? I would have liked to see CM Punk on it again. CM Punk is my favorite. He is indeed the best in the world. Now Edge climbing that ladder. Rock is set up on the table. Off the top rung of the ladder and hits him with an elbow drop. Now Edge, signature, executioner. Edge is looking for it, but he's uh, looking the wrong way, I think. Brock is groggy, and Edge is running around and bumps into him twice. Oh, and a big drop kick. I don't know exactly what that was. Edge looking for that bump. Uh, executioner again. Here's the pin. That's the match. The rated R superstars won it. Oh, there's Michaels. He's got a pipe and he's beating up Edge with it. What does this mean for money in the bank? Please tune in to next week's episode of WWF Monday Night War. And if you liked this video, please make sure to leave a rate, comment, and subscribe.